Hello guys, welcome back to my channel once again here on YouTube. Today I have a, I don't know if you want to call it a review, but a standoff I guess between which DVD or Blu-ray is better out of the three here. Uh, so we have McMahon, Paul Heyman and Eric Bischoff, three of the most important wrestling promoters in the US during the 90s. And early 2000s each of the sets are pretty cool um, I'm gonna talk to you about each one of them give you a score for each one and I'll let you know at the end obviously which is the best of the three so let's begin with McMahon first so obviously not everybody's uh, favorite person especially at, at this time which is a shame really everything coming out about him now very upsetting but i'm here to focus on this dvd set and not think about what he's done and everything else so the cover artwork uh, looks pretty cool so we have two different sides of mcmahon a supposedly nice side happy side and his evil side and i like the way they've done his name his name with this the wwf uh, you know the undermark for the scratch logo so this was a silver vision release this one usually comes with a cardboard sleeve as well but um, i didn't get it with this one unfortunately there's the spine show you the discs quickly yeah two disc set this one guys disc one is that black one and we have a red one for disc two i'll get that out ready because i'm going to go over that in a second I'll quickly show you the back. So this had a runtime of 358 minutes. And we have four hours of extras, including nine complete matches, which we'll go over when we go over the pamphlet shortly. Just who is Vincent Kennedy McMahon? To some, he is sports entertainment's innovator of visionary, sorry, and visionary corporate leader of a multi-million dollar company. To others, he is evil personified, the manipulative sadistic boss of a coral of WWE superstars who takes great personal pleasure in making others suffer. This two disc set is a complete look at the blurred reality between Vince McMahon, chairman of WWE, and Mr. McMahon TV's boss from hell included uh, candid comments from WWE superstars and other members of the McMahon family. All of his most infamous moments are included as well as his greatest matches and rivalries. And this is a 2006 release as well, guys. So it won't have a lot of like the stuff from later years, you know, anything recent and shit. There's the pamphlet. Just goes over the chapters of the first disc there. Talking about when he was an uh, announcer, uh, then a promoter, obviously. The Monday Night War, the birth of Mr. McMahon, the evolution of Mr. McMahon, Austin versus McMahon, the athlete, the chairman, the philanthropist, XFL, the risk taker, Triple H, Stephanie Dayton, Dysfunctional family, the ladies' man, the competitor, father versus son, kiss my ass club, brand extension, Vince McMahon and Stone Cold's volatile relationship, hires Eric Bischoff back, McMahon O Mania, the bully, honored, father versus daughter, leading by example, you're fired, the patriot, McMahonism, and the grandfather. And those are the extras there on that disc one and there's uh, various screenshots to show you as well guys <laughs> the one with the XFL man <laughs> brings back memories oh, and there's one with him and Andre there it looks absolutely incredible it's amazing how um, huge Andre really was back then back then or in general sorry guys 
Gross Kiss My Ass Club of uh, William Regal there. I think he's dressed as Ric Flair on that one. And we got the screenshots in the center of this, uh, like the center fold of this pamphlet. One of the most famous out of those, uh, I'd say, is that uh, when he gets attacked with that kidney dish when he's in the hospital bed by Austin dressed as a nurse. Yeah, lots of memories looking at some of these photos and how well toned he was. I think that was at the Royal Rumble. Oh no, because it has a Raw logo in the background, I think, doesn't it? Yeah, but yeah, how well toned he was. I was going to say Royal Rumble 99. That must have been obviously like a 2003 Raw or something like that because of the way the Raw logo was. And um, there's disc two, which is the matches. So we have, oh, I put it down, sorry guys. So we had Steel Cage match. Mr. McMahon versus Stone Cold Steve Austin from St. Valentine's Day Massacre in 1999. Handicap ladder match. So Mr. McMahon and Shane McMahon against Stone Cold Steve Austin from King of the Ring 99. No holds barred match between Mr. McMahon and Triple H. Stay there, don't move. <laughs> That was from Armageddon 99, sorry guys. Street fight between Mr. McMahon and Shane McMahon from WrestleMania 17. Another street fight between Mr. McMahon and Ric Flair from the Royal Rumble 2002. Another street fight. This is obviously his speciality or his favourite match type, uh, Mr. McMahon. So yeah, Mr. McMahon versus Hulk Hogan from WrestleMania 19 in 2003. And we had an I Quit match, uh, Mr. McMahon versus Stephanie McMahon. No Mercy 2003. And finally, Buried Alive match, Mr. McMahon versus Undertaker from Survivor Series 2003 as well. Yeah. So there's some more screenshots. And we got McMahon on the back there as a referee. So all in all, it was a very interesting documentary and good set of matches. Uh, yeah, that, I give that one a seven and a half out of ten for what it is. I try and, as I say, look past all the negativity about it, you know, about him in general. I'm here to, like, you know, give my opinions on the DVD, not to give a shit what he's done. But obviously, it's wrong what he's done, but let's move on anyway. The next one, ladies and gentlemen, E C free no, no behave bunny. It's ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul Heyman. I can't do his voice. Sorry guys, I can't do anyone's voice. Only my own. Strange that, isn't it? <laughs> Very good at uh, doing my own voice. Yeah, this is a Fremantle Media two disc Blu-ray set, twelve certificate here in the UK. Oh, sorry, the McMahon one was a fifteen certificate. I forgot to say that, guys. There's the discs and there's the back. The writing is very small, isn't it? So this had an eight hour, 37 minute run time. So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman and I have a lot to say. Long before my client Brock Lesnar conquered the Undertaker's streak at WrestleMania, I earned a reputation as a person who directed superstars to success. So this year, while continuing to guide superstars to the bright lights of stardom, oh, superstardom, sorry guys, I found time to give you a front row seat into the greatest mind sports entertainment has ever seen. Find out how an attorney son from Scarsdale, New York, infiltrated sports entertainment as a teenager and became one of the most revolutionary forces of all time. Sit back as, a sh as I shoot from the hip on my life and career while you celebrate my vast contributions as a producer, a producer, promoter, manager, writer, general manager, advocate, and an all-round creative genius. So keep your mouth shut your ears open and listen to one of the greatest stories ever told. If you're lucky, you might even learn a thing or two. 
Sorry, I took my time reading that, guys. It's so small, the writing. It's unbelievable. Yeah, yours truly, Paul Heyman. I've got to get the uh, inside out of the uh, cover. So we can see what's on it. Not sure how well the camera's going to pick this up. How annoying. So yeah, disc one just goes over, you know, him as a photographer, promoter, manager, his time in AEW, WCW as a manager, I guess, his time in ECW as the promoter. Yeah, he's got uh, his time as a commentator in WWE as well. He's done quite a lot. It's quite surprising. Sorry about that, guys. It's quite surprising. He had quite a. He's got quite a resume, really. Yeah, he's um, covered a lot of his promos as well from A W A W A. Sorry, A E W. So yes. So if I said A E W earlier, I do apologise for that as well. So A W A, W C W, E C W, and there's also disc two, which has uh, just more promos and. A few matches so the matches for example we have the oriental midnight express the original midnight express sorry guys versus the new midnight express don't know why i said the oriental midnight express apologies for that uh judgment day 2002 hardy boys versus brock lesnar and paul Heyman. night of champions no dq handicap elimination match CM Punk versus Curtis Axel and Paul Heyman. And it's got a load of Blu-ray exclusives there as well. If you can just make those out. I truly am working on getting a new camera sorted, guys. I am ever so sorry about this. But yeah, this was a very, very entertaining watch. Brought back a lot of memories, especially some of the WCW stuff, and I learned a lot of the stuff they talked about. With the, uh, he talked about with the ECW, and yeah, that's a very good set. I give that one an eight point five out of ten. And then finally, last but not least, we have Eric Bischoff, sports entertainment's most controversial figure. Two disc set. Blu-ray Fremantle release 15 certificate. Another one with really cool looking artwork with the WCW Nitro background with the pyros and everything going off and the nice flames and shit. There's the spine. I'm going to move Paul Heyman over there in case he collapses and you McMahon you can just go over <laughs> off the screen. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, I've got disc one and two around the wrong way. My bad. So there's disc one. And there's disc two. And here's the back of the uh, cover artwork. So we have argue, arguably the most controversial figure to ever step foot into the industry. Eric Bischoff is responsible for some of the most revolutionary moments in sports entertainment history from creating the NWO to battle in WWE as the figurehead of WCW during the Monday Night War, to being one of the most hated personalities in both WCW and WWE. Eric Bischoff knew how to get under the rival, under his rival's skin while creating his own in-your-face brand of controversy. Relive all of Eric Bischoff's greatest moments, hear stories from the man himself, and see why he was appropriately named the king of controversy it just shows like uh, what it includes but we'll go over that in a second and there's the screenshots him with uh, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall there and then a very old uh, press conference in WCW I'll just take the insert out a sec guys This one the camera should pick up a lot better hopefully so we have disc one which uh, covers a lot of uh, 
interesting stuff. It's very similar to Paul Heyman, really, because we've got like the AWA. I didn't say AEW. I know I definitely didn't that time. Uh, WCW, uh, Beer Branding, uh, Exclusive Producer, The Monday Night War, Answering Hard Questions, The Downfall, uh, WWE, uh, Memories and stuff. And his stories he's got, which he's got quite a few to talk about, like pop bottles, hunting, grandma, school times, you know, just to name some. And he's got a JBL show with guest Eric Bischoff, part one, and then again, part two. And Eric Bischoff's top 10 controversial moments, that's quite entertaining to watch as well. I won't spoil that one too much, guys, because that's quite cool to watch. The disc two, we've got um, just matches, I guess. So, well, no, not matches, more, yeah, maybe a few matches are in here, but there's, it's more like segments. So Ninja Suit Man uh, from AWA. I was going to say AW again, i got to stop. <laughs> AWA All-Star Wrestling. Eric Bischoff and Greg... Gagne, do I say his name right? I apologise if I haven't. Discuss Billy Robinson. At the Great American Bash, 91, Eric goes into women's locker room. Halloween Havoc, 1994, a gift from Muhammad Ali. Great American Bash, 96, Jackknife Powerbomb. Very uh, special moment that was when he got jackknifed on that stage of the Great American Bash set. Uh, Blind Powerbomb, WCW, uh, Nitro, NWO, Bischoff, Easy e Eric Fires, uh, uh, Randy Anderson, Randy Peewee Anderson, the referee, I remember that now. And then Randy Peewee Anderson pleads for his job back. Eric Bischoff playing Eric Bischoff. Starcade 97 for control of uh, Monday Nitro, we had Eric Bischoff versus Larry Zabisco. So Zabisco thought he could do a better job than Eric, so he challenged him to a match. And Eric challenges Vince McMahon to a fight on an episode of Nitro in May 1998. Uh, I'll try and put that down. You still probably could read it because my hands are still shaking. Sorry, guys. It's Good to be King, uh, Late Night Imposter, NWO Nightcap, Keeping a Secret. Eric Bischoff is named General Manager of Raw. Billy and Chuck's Wedding, Most Fun Ever, In the Skybox with Stone Cold at Judgment Day 2003, No Script, uh, Insurrection 2003, Y2J's Highlight Reel with Eric Bischoff and Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Trial of Eric Bischoff, which is right at the bottom there, I didn't see that you couldn't see that guys, and then we got like Blu-ray exclusives which are just interviews from ESPN Championship Wrestling, AWA, Worldwide. There's quite a few from Worldwide. Like he interviews, for example, Stunning Steve Austin and Medusa, The Tailor Made Man and Harley Race and Vader. Some good ones there. Nice little collection. Possibly some rare interviews, rare footage there. But yeah. All in all, that was another really interesting watch. Another interesting set, which I do appreciate. And I highly recommend this one, guys. I'll give that one a 9 out of 10. I did enjoy it. So I'm just putting the cover back in the case. So yeah, I did enjoy that one very much. So out of the three of them, that one's the best. Only just, though, that Heyman one was pretty cool as well. And then um, the McMahon one was last, but that one had some good matches on that McMahon set. But yeah, guys, out of those three then, I'm going with Bischoff. Pay, uh, Paul Heyman's going to be second place and McMahon in third place. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you agree with my decisions? What do you think of each of these? Do you own any of these? Do you want to talk about any of these releases here? Please, again, let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if I deserve one today. 
Hope you're all well. Uh, feel subs uh, free to subscribe if you haven't done so already. You all stay safe, and I'll see you again soon for some more videos. Peace.